Okay, I'm back. Um, hopefully you stayed with me. I can see Alexiev is laughing at me having to do the first Greek mission on Hardest because I know that it is going to be awful <laughs> from, um, you know, memories of it. However, uh, it's definitely perfectly doable. It does require a little bit of luck in terms of how hard and how they hit you and how early, but there are ways. You're not stuck in one place and, like completely penned in like you were in the mission 11 of uh, the Egyptian campaign there are different there's probably three different ways to approach the mission three different spots on the map that you can go and uh, there's one of them is definitely the most optimal uh, in terms of cheesing it possibly um, or being able to hide for the longest but the other one is probably the um, the way you're supposed to do it, which is basically to take over the base of another uh, enemy at the start, which is yellow to the southeast. I think it's yellow anyway. And then um, there is also an area in the north that you can try to take control of. It's got tons of food, but it's literally right on the doorstep of the enemy. So um, that is not a good idea. We're going to go with the take over the base of yellow, if it is yellow, that, like if my memory serves me correctly. Um, what we have to do is destroy all the enemy farms and establish five farms of our own, which doesn't sound like much, but when these guys are hitting you with uh, plus two axemen and you're still in the Stone Age, it causes a hell of a problem. And they have a load of those at the start. So I'm going to move quickly right at the moment this starts. I'm going to move to the southeast and take over the town of Yellow because they've got lots of nice stuff basically that I want. I'm gonna make sure, yeah, that I am my enemy to them. Now, yellow will still have some stuff over here, um, buildings and a few villages. I'm gonna leave the club men to fight those, but my villagers need to get working straight away. This is the spot that I'm going to put my TC next to the berries, near to the wood and the deer. <clears throat> How long am I still playing? Um, I'll definitely finish this mission. After that, I don't know. We'll see. That, that may be the end. We'll see how I'm feeling. I need houses to crap. Oh, look, there's a camouflage yellow villager there. Dude's hiding. Ah, and Red's found me. That's bad. I don't want to attack him. That's the last thing I want to do. And it's a good spot to dock down here. There's also an amazing spot to dock over here, but it's a little bit too far away for now. Oh crap. Those plus, but those clubmen have got plus two, mine haven't. So I'm gonna get the villagers into the fight because there's no point just fighting this like without villagers helping because it's a bad it's just gonna be a bad trade. I need the numbers here. But equally, I don't want to lose too many villagers. So I'm going to distract that clubman as well whilst my my own dude... Ah, this, this guy's going to pick up kills. But it can't be helped. And that kind of interrupted me, uh, my economy, a little bit too much there because I, you know, the food, eco the food economy is a bit messed up at this point. But it's survivable. Collect food from the dead bodies, turn to cannibalism. Okay. <laughs>
maybe I should even stay away from Yellow's TC because I don't think they'll be making anything else. But it may, um, it may just aggro red a bit if they're allies. Maybe they can. They have some way of like, I don't know, knowing that their allies under attack. Never know how they how the ally works. But I really need to get tall age desperately. Because if they come with maybe more than I could probably survive one wave of axemen, but no more. all the time. The IA does work, but yellows doesn't because they don't have any villagers. I killed all their villagers and presumably they don't have enough food. There are some um, scenarios where the a the enemy AI seems to have been have elements of it deactivated it by the developers. Oh crap, here we go. Fight, fight, fight. Drop the speed to micro. Everyone attack this guy. So at this point I have no troops, only villagers, so I've got nobody with good enough AI to actually uh, fight back by themselves. Always reassuring. Really need a barracks. Maybe I should cancel that fishing ship to get the wood faster. <laughs> Could I stick to berries please, there are vegans watching this. Oh my god. I'm gonna try and put a house here or something and see if it distracts them a bit when they when they come and attack me. Then we're gonna take a little bit of a risk now and just try and stockpile that 500 food that I desperately need now. Oh crap, Axemen. Now this is bad. This is extremely bad. These guys got seven attack versus my villagers with 25 HP. Fortunately, micro works. Let's drop all these resources off. I don't want to waste any. Okay, none of those guys had resources. And we're up. Ah, advanced warning house, distraction house, worked pretty well. See if I can just repair this house and troll them a bit. But I don't know whether I'll have enough wood to do it though. Seems to be kind of working this far. Repair the house. Is it gonna work? Yeah, two villagers does it. <laughs> Exploiting AI 2016, guys. This is 1997 AI. <laughs> <Look>. <laughs> I feel so bad for doing it this way. But what can you do? When, look at the look at these beasts. Seven attack, 50 HP. Four, you know, they're the better hunters, but it's actually, they actually have three attack when they're fighting this. Three attack. Oh 
I'm gonna get a storage pick because that's the equivalent of a blacksmith. I'm gonna get attack first because like when the bowmen come you might as well just have attack because the armor doesn't work against mist, uh, piercing armor. Like the armor upgrade doesn't give any piercing armor I mean. Oh crap, now I need that upgrade fast. I'm gonna drop the speed and my goes a bit. Lands on deck. <clears throat> it's probably a bit of an overreaction until the Axeman upgrade kicks in. Once the Axeman upgrade kicks in, then it'll be fine. still on enemy and I should be like the, the issue will now be that they will transition to bowmen soon enough um, and that will cause problems and Brown's now getting involved in the oh look at that he gets a one hit kill on a club like a villager that was basically dead at the wood line look at that the cheek of that put an archery range up here for a bit of advanced warning The brown got a uh, civilization over here somewhere, and the red are up here. Now, the brown civilization is a bit of a mixed bag, um, like in terms of what they actually do in this map. Like sometimes they just get wiped out, and other times they actually do build up a bit. Ah, here we go. They've got plus two, and I think I've got both upgrades. Yeah, I've got both upgrades at this point. I've got a technological advantage. It's going to be pretty easy to defend from them now. Although, they do have the numbers, plus I was a bit more damaged than they were. Nonetheless, won't be too, too much of a problem. The fishing has absolutely brilliant. Yeah, the slingers aren't very good against infantry at all. I'm pretty sure they don't get any kind of bonus that would make them good. So there's a tower here which actually has guards the only stone on the map. Might even be able to get away with trying to take those berries. I wonder wonder if I can can manage to get away with it. Let's see. Can always send some villagers up there and run them if they get attacked. 
Yeah. But for now, I've survived the onslaught. In fact, that was probably one of the easier times you'll have uh, trying to do this map, like, and trying to survive the early rush. Like, they sent a lot of the units to me as clubmen rather than before they got axemen. So they had plus two clubmen, so they were in the tool age, but they didn't upgrade to axemen yet, which made it so much easier to just mob them with my villagers. <laughs> So, for Alexei of saying, um, <laughs> Barracks looks like a bouncy castle, I'll never be able to look at that in the same way again. <laughs> Good one. I, I totally see it. <laughs> oh, I'm populated, I'm pop locked. Let's not build the houses out here, that would be stupid. <laughs> Red has just killed, killed Brown. <laughs> Actually, I'll get um, domestication first. So at this point, bowmen get pretty OP once I mass them up. This pond is amazing. <laughs> look at this, look at all the fish. <laughs> Just exploring it so that my I can leave the fishing boats to their own devices a bit more afterwards. A little bit light on axemen at this point, actually. Could do a few more to help win this fight. Misclick. Did I get domestication? Yeah, I did. Oh, it's yellow that died, not brown. I read Tyrenia and I was thinking it was the yellow, the brown civilization, but the brown is still alive, aren't they? It's all roaming around. They won't be if they keep sacrificing villages like this. And red's back. Holy, that's a lot again. And they go straight for the villages. And they're starting to mix in bowmen. Probably do them at archery range at this point as well. Not that. We'll also get some slingers just to go and kill this tower. start deleting some of the fishing boats on this lake because I don't need as many. Not as many fish to take now. Oh, and they're even adding scouts. Fortunately, they lack PS arms all the same. You want me to get towers, is that what you want? Okay. You have to research tower. Even the first tower upgrade and the first wall you have to get. Like, you, you have to research it. Don't 
don't really need this many guys anymore. Like I can delete some bills for army room. I'll keep. I might as well send that up here, up there, actually. Start to go and deal with this watchtower. That is here, right here. And there's stone inside the walls. I think there's stone. Yeah, there we go. What? There's no tower? Are you kidding me? I swear there's a tower in this tower there. Alexeyev. If you're there, please <laughs> justify me. There is there is a tower there. It, normally, surely. Oh my dear. I really need to uh, stop playing just on memory of this game and not actually what's what's real. Hmm. Oh, cheers to United for the host. I'm sure your viewers are absolutely loving your Let's Play of Age of Empires 1. They're probably like, what on earth is this? I'm trying to go and find Brian's town. I think it's more here, actually. down a bit to get a bit more space around this area. Oh. <laughs> I snuck past my line of defence. We've seen how the, the villagers use these massive bone clubs, it's pretty, pretty funny. That's going to take forever, but... The lack of gather points to actually route your army to where you want, to, want them to be is really... Uh, well, it just gets really repetitive, like having I mean, to keep going back to your production buildings and find the army you made. Oh, they got more than I expected still at this point. And a GB from here a bit. Brown looks to have lost all their villagers. What they will do is they will like send a villager to explore the map and then when they lose that villager, they'll send the next one and then the next one until they get to their last villager. So a civilization and this game that starts off with very little, they're in danger of losing it all right at the start. Which doesn't turn out too well for them. Now the main thing I need to do here is destroy farms. That's it pretty much. But obviously, at least get rid of the troops. And then I will need five farms of my own and I've done it and that will actually be a much faster completion of this mission than I ever expected. I thought this one would be harder than Mission 11 of the Egypt campaign, but it hasn't turned out to be the case at all. I got, as I was saying before, I got a little bit lucky with the amount of clubmen rather than uh, they sent rather than upgrade those clubmen that they started off with two axemen when they were already in the tall age and had the ability to do so. And that, that's made it much easier to survive. Which 
you've got to build towers in the middle of their base for no reason there. Let's do load like MBL outpost rush but with towers. Or the VNS yellow at 33 minutes and 50 seconds. Ah, <laughs> the that, that, that villager is deleting. <laughs> He just lost me 150 stone because they can kill your building foundations. I completely forgot about that. Unlike in AOE 1, AOE 2, sorry, they can actually destroy the building foundations because they appear to, as visible to the enemy. Just about to stop that one villager from trolling me out of like 450 stone. <laughs> but he, he got 150 off me. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Gotta look for all the farms now basically, that's the main thing, because once the farms are down then, um, then it's over. Presuming I got five. Yeah, there we go. That farm died, I got five on my own. GG. Okay, that went a lot faster than I was expecting. So, Glory of Greece. One out of eight done. Um... I think I'll leave it there, as it is now quite late for me, but um, those of you who actually were following this enough that you wanted to know what time I would finish off, um, like, and sorry, what time I would um, stream next, I did say I would tell you before I finish off, getting ahead of myself there. Uh, so I guess I could go for tomorrow evening, um, thinking about it, yeah I can, um, and I'll probably start slightly earlier this time probably let's make it Thursday 20 30 GMT that will be a little bit better I think so um, yeah I'll see you tomorrow evening guys if you're actually interested enough in this stuff to be coming back hope you've enjoyed it uh, we will continue on with the glory of Greece campaign um, not glory Greece as it was written before nobody spotted that and told me Actually, I should delete that video, shouldn't I? Delete the Wednesday part and make it just Thursday. I'm not really going to plan ahead beyond tomorrow at this point. But uh, yeah, cheers guys. I'm going to log off now. Thanks for watching.